Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 1 from Working with Health IT Systems. In 1 and 2, we learned how to open the system, how to find our patient and pull the information up, and then how to begin to understand and interpret the cover sheet. What I'd like to do now is just show you a few more features with the cover sheet. When you get into the lab, I'd like you to go ahead and play with this to figure it out. For example, you can do a little bit of configuring right here in the screen by just a simple click and drag. So you click with your mouse, hold it down, and pull up something. And you'll see all of a sudden, gee, he's got a lot of lab results in there. And you might want to just configure it so that it's laid out to your specifications. I have a tendency to like to be able to see everything on one line, but this is something that you can train your users to do. It's very simple, and it allows them to customize their own view of the cover sheet. And when they log out, that new configuration is actually saved, and it's associated with their login ID and verify code. When they come back in, when I come back in, I will see that it looks just like this. Let's take a look into these tabs. Let's click into Problems. Look over here at the Problem tab. There are View Options, there are Active Problems, Inactive Problems, both active and inactive or removed problems. There's a place you can add a new problem. We're not going to do that in this lesson, but I guarantee you, we will do it in upcoming lessons. What I want you to see here is that right now, we are defaulted to the active. These are Mr. Eight's active problems. Hyperlipidemia, hypertension, he's had an MI, he's also diabetic, and he's got chronic systolic heart failure. In other words, this is one sick puppy. But anyway, again, you can do a little bit of clicking and dragging. That's pretty common across the whole interface to make it look a certain way, and that's good. But if I choose inactive, then it's only going to show me the prior problems that he had, but now they're resolved. He used to be a cigarette smoker, but he quit. And he used to have mycosis of nail, but that was resolved after he was medicated. In essence, it's saying that this is the onset date of that particular problem, when it was last updated, and the location, meaning what clinic he was in. But anyway, location is general medicine. So you can display both, active and inactive. Or you would like to see if somebody put one in and removed it. So it looks like somebody put in that he had dental caries, but removed it. Maybe they put it in on the wrong patient. But anyway, that's the problem tab. Let's look at the meds tab. The meds tab, as you can see, it comes up with outpatient medications, non-VA medications, and inpatient medications. What we can look at, we can come up here and see that he is taking three drugs as an outpatient. He also takes over-the-counter medication, non-VA aspirin he's taking. And I'm not sure what these things are. I have to look. Ah, so the status of each of these drugs, the first two are active, the last is expired. And this is the last date that the medication is filled. And let's see, what's this last one here? Oh, and how many refills are remaining on that particular medication? Again, we will not be ordering meds at this moment. We will be doing that later. Let's look at the Orders tab. Here are the orders. Now, if you see here, you can write orders. So there are all these different order entry mechanisms here. Right now, we are only showing the active orders. And you can see that these are all the orders that are active for this particular patient. I don't want to order anything for this particular lesson. We will get into that later. Right now, it's just an orientation, but you do see that the orders are listed by service. Next, let's look at notes.